and for Massimo and Luigi to turn their attention to the most hair-raising use of mystical energies we've seen so far. Throwing chi to knock someone out without even touching them. Massimo reviewed the tapes of George Dillman and his followers performing such no-touch knockouts and was not impressed. The people going there expected what was going to happen and they were expected to react in a specific way. And they just reacted to the suggestion. When this happens in, in hypnotism demonstrations on stage by a magician which doesn't use hypnosis at all, just give suggestions and people who is ready to believe that kind of things react. But critiquing a tape and standing up to a karate master are completely different matters. It's time for a showdown. In one corner, weighing in at no more than 125 pounds, is chemist Luigi Garnaschelli. He thinks he can stand up to a knockout punch of chi because it doesn't exist. In the other corner, it's 8th degree black belt Leon J, one of George Dillman's top associates and fellow practitioner of the no-touch knockout. This ought to be interesting. In fact, when we did the test on Luigi, who was not uh, ready to, to believe these things, or maybe it was just staying there, seeing what would happen. It didn't work. Dillman thinks he knows what went wrong and has come up with a very interesting explanation. The skeptic was, un was a, a totally non-believer. Non-believer. Plus, I don't know if I should say that on film, but if the guy had his tongue in the wrong position of the mouth, uh, that can also nullify it. Yeah, you can nullify it. You can nullify a lot of things, don't you? In fact, you can nullify them if you raise those two big toes. If I say I'm going to knock you out, and you raise one toe and push one toe down, can't knock you out. And then if I go to try again, you reverse it. If you keep doing this, I won't knock you out. Good to know. But there is another explanation. Perhaps chi, prana, baraka, all of 